Hey everyone, I'm Will, and today we are going to look at Goose Tongue. But before we get on that, remember to like, and subscribe, and comment down below, and don't forget to press that notification bell down below. Right here, if you can see, there's all this marsh grass right by some water. Nice ocean right here. It likes to have its feet wet. So there's some Goose Tongue right here. You can see the slightly different look right here. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. It has a slight thicker uh, leaf than the other uh, stuff so and the flowering stalks are going to seed right now and they look different than the grass you can see and it's really easy to harvest this is in the plantago genus so this is a leaf what you're looking for is this long leaf it can be smaller because you can harvest this in early spring when it's like just a couple inches tall but it's summertime and this is bigger. You are looking for something that's very long and then pointed at the top. Now it can grow about like a foot long and you're looking for this groove. There's a groove that's in the center of it, almost similar of a idea as almost like ostrich fern of the groove. You can also find goose tongue alongside cliffs on uh, shore sides of the ocean. What you're looking for of coloration you're looking for a light green. The width of the leaf is going to be at the most when it's mature and fully grown through the summer is about a quarter inch. You can also find this in, by fresh water. The texture of it is very like that uh, smooth, very smooth, almost like squeaky smooth. It has a snap when you break it. So if you snap it, Let's taste it. Because it's by the ocean, it has a slight saltiness. It kind of has a similar flavor as of glass wart, but it also has that chewiness and flavor also, just like common plantain. Goose tongue is a great plant for a trailside nibble or on salads. Because of it being in the genus Plantago, this is also a great medicine. Here's a little bit of a better look of uh, ones out of the grass where the grass is down flat and the plantago stays standing because it has a stronger stalk. When you look real close, you can find that there is a lot of goose tongue all over. Right there, from there, there. If you get the eyes, you can find that there is a lot. Some right there. Usually the leaves grow about a foot long, but this one right here that I'm holding, that one and a few other ones, when they mature, they become about a foot and a half long. When the leaves get this old of about like a foot and a half long, they will have a slight yellowish hue to them. And you do not want to eat them then. Then they became a little bit too mature and too old for consumption. And that's how you identify goose tongue. If you want to see more, go down in the description below, click the link to my channel, or press the round subscribe button to help me out to get to a thousand subscribers. And of next time, remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See ya.